Hi everyone, welcome to today's lecture. In today's lecture, we are going to talk about the factorization of polynomials. And this is a very important topic of this chapter, polynomials. You can observe this number 48. All of you are familiar with the process of prime factorization. This could be easily prime factorized. So let's prime factorize it. On prime factorization, you will find that this prime factorization contains the factors like 2 and 3, where this could be written as 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 3. So this is 2 raised to the power 4 into 3. So by this prime factorization, we have broken it into smaller parts and it will be quite easier to perform arithmetic operations on this number now. In the same way, when we talk about the polynomials, to apply basic operations on the polynomials, we break it into smaller parts. That means we do the factorization of the polynomials to break it into smaller parts and that will help you to save your time while solving the questions related to the polynomials. So in the factorization of polynomials, you will learn various methods of the factorization. Where very first we are going to discuss about factorization by taking out the common factor. Then you will learn about factorization by grouping the terms and after that you will learn about the factorization by middle term splitting. Moreover, you will also learn about factorization using identities as well as the factor theorem. So let's start this topic. So when we talk about factorization of the polynomials, very first we say here that the process of writing a polynomial as a product of two or more polynomials is called factorization. And we, in other words, we say that factorization is a process of splitting polynomial into its factors so as to simplify it. So let's consider that we have a polynomial of very higher degree. If you are expressing it as product of these smaller polynomials of lesser degree, then that is called the factorization of the polynomials and that simplifies your job. And here we would focus on the different ways of factorizing a given polynomial. As I have told you, there are different ways of the factorization. So now we are going to discuss the first type of the factorization method that is factorization by taking out the common factor. Here we say that if we find any common factor in each term of the polynomial, then we take out this factor as common by dividing each term of the polynomial by this factor. So what you do, very first you observe your given polynomial and after that you see each and every term of the polynomial. If you find any term which is common in each term of the polynomial, then you take out that term common. And how do you take out that term common? By dividing each and every term by that common term. Let's see how do we do that. Let's consider here for example, we have this polynomial 4x square plus 12xy plus 16xy square. So when we focus on this polynomial, clearly this is a polynomial involving some constants and variables. Now let's observe each and every term here. When you observe each term, here we have first, second and third term. Is there any term which is common over here? Clearly, you can find here the common term between these three. Let's observe here x. We have here x, here and here. So in all these three terms, we can find x. Moreover, when you observe here 4, you can see here, we have 4 here, we have multiple of 4, 12 here and we have multiple of 4, that is 16. This means in these three terms, we have x common as well as we have 4 common. So each and every term can be divided by 4x to take out 4x as common factor. So let's do that. Here very first, we will consider this expression. 4x square plus 12xy plus 16xy square. Now, if I want to take here 4x as common, I need to divide each and every term by 4x. So let's divide each and every term by 4x. So you will be dividing each term by 4x and you can write here that I have taken 4x common. Now, when you observe this, here 4 is in the numerator and denominator, which ultimately gets cancelled up. So that doesn't bring any change to this statement. That's why you need to multiply and divide here by 4x. Now, let's see how we simplify it. Here 4, 4 gets cancelled and here x divides x square x times. Moreover, 
4 cancels out 12 3 times and xx gets cancelled. 4 divides 16 4 times and xx gets cancelled. Finally, you are obtaining here 4x into x plus 3y plus 4y square. So, you can observe now how easily we have factorized the given polynomial. So, it has been expressed as product of these two factors where we have this factor as 4x and another factor as x plus 3y plus 4y square where 4x can be also splitted as 2 into 2 into x. So, in this way we have factorized this given polynomial by taking out the common factor. So, now you have understood this process of taking out the common factor. Let us discuss few basic questions based on this process. So, we have this question which states that factorize a raised to the power 4x square minus 2a cube x plus a square and this is a multiple choice question where you have these four options. So, let us factorize it by taking out the common factor. Very first I am writing here this given polynomial which is a raised to the power 4 x square minus 2 a cube x plus a square. Now, here we have three terms. Let us observe each term here and try to identify the common factor. What is the common factor? Can you find here x in each term? Yes, we have x in two terms but x is missing in the third term. So, we cannot consider x as the common term. But when we come to a, here we have a a, here we have a a and here we have another a. But when you consider the power of a, here we are talking about a raised to the power 4, here we are talking about a cube and here we are talking about a square. So, when you find a term which is common and when you find that their powers are different, try to take here the minimum power of that common term as common. So, here the minimum out of 4, 3 and 2 that is 2. So, we will take here a square as common out of all of these. So, what we do? We take here a square as common and to simplify it, you divide each and every term here by a square. So, here when we divide each and every term by a square, let us see what we obtain. So, when you divide each term by a square, this results here that a square simplifies this to a square. Moreover, here a square simplifies this to a and here a square, a square gets cancelled and you obtain here 1. And finally, I can write here that this is a square into a square x square minus 2ax plus 1. So, here this has been expressed in this form. Now, let us see how do we factorize it further. Next, you can observe that this can be written as a square. Moreover, here we have the square of ax and here this can be written as 2 into ax into 1 while 1 can be written as 1 square. So, you are familiar with the identities which you have studied in class 8 that was a minus b whole square and a plus b whole square. What is a minus b whole square? That is a square minus 2ab plus b square which is clearly over here this is in terms of a square, this is 2ab, this is b square. So, this can be definitely reduced to the form of a minus b whole square and you can write it as a square into ax minus 1 whole square. So, this is having the power 2 which could be broken into simpler form as a square into ax minus 1 into ax minus 1. So, now you can see here that we have factorized our given polynomial in terms of the two factors. So, this is the simpler form where we have factorized the given polynomial. Firstly, we have taken out here a square as common. Then further we have factorized it using the basic algebraic identity that is a minus b whole square. Now, let us get back to our question out of these four options. Now, which one is the correct answer? Which one represents the factorized form of the given polynomial? Now, try to find an answer. Here, when we observe all of these four options, the correct answer is a square into ax minus 1 into ax minus 1. That is clearly present in option number 3. So, I can definitely write here the answer for this question is option number 3. In the same way, you can factorize your given polynomial using the basic factorization that is by taking out the common factor. Now, let us discuss few more questions based on this type of factorization.